How's it going? Back here with another video. Just out here in the, that little bit of rye grass there, just looking at here, it's fairly heavy now at the minute, but we're getting showers there. I thought we'd get cut there earlier on today, but a big, big shower came across there again, so I'll put us back there again. Maybe maybe tomorrow we might get into it, but um, it's good and heavy there now. It's actually, um, um, just as you see it there, um, a fair bit. Fair bit of length into it there, good leafy stuff. But I just see an odd place there. Yeah, there's one now. Starting to starting to head out, so it'll want to be cut now. Um bright grass like once it starts to head out, it'll just turn into wire all of a sudden. Um the good will be gone out of it, so hopefully now tomorrow we get cut and we get it wrapped, get a couple of days. They're giving a sort of a couple of days, so Look at, we may take a chance on it anyway. We just have to reseed in this field here. Um, this field down Lower Gorchin. Um, we ploughed it. Um, got lime spread on it. Put on a couple of bags of 10, 10, 20. And give a cut of a power hire then and a few runs of an old leveller that the boss made up there years ago. Um, rolled it then and um, came in on it here then I was just spreading on the just spreading on the hay seed there with a little slug spread applicator on the front of the tractor and um, and the tine harrow then on the back of it or the grass harrow I suppose you call it um, just tilling the hay in um, just there I was had about uh, about three quarters of a bag left over so I just went back over it there and trying to hold on top of it there you can see the hay seed there on top of the ground can you uh, see little bits of hay seed and claw you probably can't see it on the camera but um, yeah it was a bit left over and I just shook it out across it again there just to get it out on it um, yeah it worked fairly well but there I just um, slug spread a spreader there on the front of the front of the loader there was the handiest, just strapped the hand there, see what way it worked. A little bit left in it there still, I wanted for an old corner that I want to <coughs> throw a bit of grass seed on. And then sure, just scratch the hind then after. Um, I see someone with the, the spreader um, mounted up there on top, on the back, on the, on the actual harrow. My thoughts on it, like it would be broadcasting the seed out. There'd be a lot of it going out behind the harrow, I think. I don't know. It's hard to see, but it's awkward there on the front. It's hard to be watching both ends, which are looking. Um, yeah, so we've got that done there anyway. Roll it in there now and get that much done. Okay. Just rolled in this hay seed here now. Uh, just with a flat roller, uh, just to drive down any of the loose stones that's there and get it packed in around there for to give it a good chance there to get going. Um, probably a flat roller. <clears throat> May not if it doesn't if it comes very wet, mightn't be best, but sure, look at that's what we have anyway. So may go with it. Um, on the grassy there was. Um, Watson's mix. We got it off of uh, Jordan Agri there up in just outside Bagdanstown. Got a mix off from there before and it worked out fairly well so went back for this one. But this is it's, is uh, for heavy land it's called uh, Green On or Grenon. Green On I suppose. Um, by Watson Seeds or they're a Scottish, they're a Scottish company. But there's only not a big mix of stuff in it there. There's a couple of intermediate rye grasses, perennial rye grasses, and three late heading perennial rye grasses as well. And then there's a white clover mix in it there as well. Of course, if you want to see any of that there, just go onto the website. But yeah, looks looks to be a good mix anyway, and it's suited for heavy land, as you're saying there. Like this would be would be sticky enough ground now. Um be sticky enough now here or heavy I suppose you'd call it 
um, the marley type soil so the water wouldn't get away that well from it in a wet time so yeah
Oh, that's these, these lads out here now. We were just changing them there, so I said we'd get him in there and vaccinate him there for the pneumonia and IBR. Um, so yeah, let him on to a fresh pick there. And, and um, just get the IBR and the, uh, the pneumonia done. They were in there last, last, last 10 days ago now. They got um, <clears throat> their warm dose and the black leg vaccine there as well. We didn't do them with this. We allowed there to be, to be too much going on at the one time. But uh, yeah, we got them done there now when we we're moving them down. So um, just get that done out of the way and have them ready then for coming in there in a, well, probably a month's time or a bit. Well, hopefully, hopefully two months time, but um, we'll just have, have, have the vaccine in them and sure they'll have to be done again in a month's time there for, for the pneumonia anyway, so they'll be back again. Okay. Oh, that's that for that video. Um, give us a like and a subscribe if you haven't already done so. And anyone that has already subscribed, I'd like to thank you for that anyway. Um, subscribe and like just gets the channel out there and just pushes it that bit further forward. Uh, just gets gets more views, whatever whatever way it works, it'll just spread it around YouTube. So look at see you next time. Good luck.